Hi guys, it's me Gwenny back with another haul video. So this is another, oh my goodness, Little Craft Place haul video. Um, if you haven't watched my videos before, hi, my name is Gwenny. I am a sticker addict, washi tape addict, stationery addict, K-pop adrama fan, Asian drama fan, a bookworm, gamer of sorts, collector, well, sort of like a hoarder mostly. But anyways, I love stationery, and um, if you haven't watched my videos before, hi, I'm Gwenny. I am a stationery addict, and I live in Houston, and if you're a stationery addict or a sticker lover, washi tape lover like me, you have to, and you visit Houston, you have to go to Little Craft Place. So Little Craft Place is a shop owned by Eunice and Ian. Um... I have multiple videos of this um, shop in my channel. If you just look up Little Craft Place, it'll probably pop up. But um, it is a physical stationery shop here in Houston. And when I say washi wall, I mean a wall of washi. They moved to a different location and have a bigger washi wall. So like I said, if you are a sticker addict or a washi tape addict, you have to go there so you can just just look at the washi wall it's it's something that you have to see in your lifetime if you're a sticker addict like me anyways i have gushed too much about little craft place um so like i said i will link their shop in the description box below but um i have a bunch of orders i have like i went to the shop three different times and I wanted to film this whole video just because I wanted to, some of the stuff that's in here is going to be gift for friends. So I wanted to get into this. Um, so I'm going to just pick a bag. There's three of them here. There's three different shopping trips and I will show you what I got. So I'll see you in the next clip. Okay. So this is the first thing that I got. Um, I don't even remember when this trip was, so I'm just going to show you the stuff that I got. Um, I believe I went to the shop because of this washi tape right here and this one right here. Um, so they have, um, like I said, different kinds of washi tape. So this one looks like, um, it's, it's called, it says BGM die cut tape. So it's sort of like, it's not like regular washi tape. It's... Um, has some kind of it looks like this this is what it looks like but uh, if you haven't watched my videos before I usually will swatch all the washi tape that I get at the end of the video so you'll see them what it looks like outside of the packaging um, so this is the back I don't know if you need to see that one so this is the die cut tape and then this one I got it because of the balloons uh, just in case I join another birthday club I can use this to make cards so this one is sort of like a vertical washi and you can use it as a border in a card and then I got this washi tape right here you're gonna see this again in uh, the other haul because I accidentally bought two of them but I thought this fox was, I think it's like a red fox it looked really really cute so this one it says Ali the fox so I had to get it because it's really cute. Um, so this one is the food themed one. So it's like baking bread. Making pizza I think. There's donuts. Is that donuts? I think that's a donut in the middle. I don't know. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I swatch it out. And then I got some penguin washi tape. Because you know that I love penguins. So this is another BGM washi tape. It says ah oh, yeah. And it's got penguins all around because I love penguins. I had to get it. Um, this one is another one of those that I can use for party time. So this one looks like a bunch of dogs on a pole. That's going to be interesting. But it's really, really cute. It looks like, yep, the dog's in a pole. <laughs> I can't wait to swatch that out. And then um, I got, I sort of like got into these kind of like perforated washi tape. So this one looks like a stamp washi tape. So I have a bunch of tapes from Little Red House. So this is another one I saw 
the bunnies and I thought they were really really cute so can't wait to swatch this one out and then I have this sticker sheet um I just wanted this part right here to sticker right here but also I think this one is really cute the one that looks like a photo print and a dollhouse I can't wait to put this in my bullet journal so that's why I got this one so this one is $2.99 if you need the price um, some of this has prices and then I got this one because penguin again so this one is marine biology um, they're kind of like sticky notes page flags I got it because of the penguin because I love penguins and I do like sharks too um, not in person I just like them as sticker form well I like seeing them in aquarium but you won't see me swimming with sharks anytime soon um, there's a blue whale, um, there's that one, there's jellyfish, and then this one. Really, really cute. I can't wait to use this one. And then I got this cute little she, she bun bun uh, letter set. So I kind of like, I need to get more into sort of like writing letters. So I'm, I wanted to get like a bunch of letter sets so I can do that. So I thought these two dogs were really, really cute. So I think these are Shiba Inus. And that is it for this mini haul video. Um, the next one is going to be what I'm really, really excited about. Because it's my um, one of my planners for next year. So um, I will see you in the next one. Okay, so the next trip that I have, um, I had to go because I saw that they had the Animal Crossing Hobonichi um, cover and I knew I had to get it. So, um, the, <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know what to start with. Um, maybe I'll start with the smaller ones and then save the best for last. So I got this enamel pin of Hello Kitty because this is actually going to be a gift for a friend of mine. She watches my videos. Ayumu, this is going to be one of your gifts. Um, so I had to get it. She loves Hello Kitty. And then I got three washi tapes. Um, two of them are from one of my favorite shops, Paper Komako. Um, so this is a shop. Um, that I would also order from online. Um, so this is Paper Komako. And I had to get this Let's Paint one. Because it's really, really cute. And then this one is sort of like... Um, what do you call this? Oh my god, I'm blanking out on the names. I do know their names when I haul it, when I do a haul from the shop itself but when I'm hauling from Little Craft Place I forget their name. I know the frog's name is Lily and I believe the panda is Bobo. Yeah, I think it's Bobo. So there's Coco, Bobo, Momo, Lily, and Toto. So this is uh, Lily and Bobo. Really, really cute. So those are the two washi tape from Little Craft Place. I will swatch it at the end of the video. And this one is a new um, shop that I saw. So it's called Lux Cups Creative. So I'm guessing it might be like another online shop. But I've never really shopped from them before. So this one is the Bestie Bears washi tape. I thought this is really, really cute. Oh my god. <laughs> And I just realized that I I already had this and I already got another one of this again. So I'm going to have two rolls of this one and two rolls of the other washi tape from the other haul. And now, so this is um, the Hobonichi Techo 2022 A6 size of um, Hobonichi. I wanted a Animal Crossing cover. So they came out with the A5 size and the A6 size. The thing with it is, um, I really wanted an uh, Animal Crossing. This is a little bit expensive, I'm sorry. But it's going to be my planner, one of my planners for next year. 
So, I got this one. So, this is the Hobonichi Tetra 2022 um, Animal Crossing cover. And it already, the reason why it was so expensive because it comes with a planner. <gasps> oh my god, I got the English one. I thought about getting the English one. I thought I was going to get the Japanese one. And then um, I was like, oh my god, then I'd have to buy another English one. But I got the English one. <gasps> oh yes, I wanted the English planner. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of like freaking out. Because um, there's two kinds of Hobonichi Techo um a6 planner there's the japanese one and the, the english one and i saw somebody do the english one and i was like oh my god that's so cool but like i didn't know what planner i was getting when i was getting this cover because it was already pre-packaged that's why i didn't get the a5 one because i wanted the cousin avec for the a5 one but oh my goodness this is the english one and i wanted it so it's got like this i don't know what kind of cover this is and inside is oh my gosh it's english the 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 quotes on the bottom are english let me show you um so like this is the a6 day free one and see like it's in japanese and i don't want to keep on google translate to just know what this what the writing at the bottom is so this one has them in English and oh my goodness I am so excited um, I'm still debating on whether to get the the a5 one um, I'm trying to decide do I want a Hobonichi for next year or do I want my bullet journal again for next year I'm I debating on which one to get um, the the what do you call this? The if I'm gonna go with bullet journal, it would be cheaper. But at the same time I won't have cute covers. But if I do go with the Hobonichi one, then I'm kind of like um maybe I won't need a vertical planner. That's what my thought my thinking process is. So this is um Anyways, I'm still thinking about it. I am going to see what happens. I will show you what I decide later on when I haul it. So anyways, this is the Hobonichi Techo um, sort of like flyer. So this one, since the planner is in English, so I think everything else is in English. And it's like cat themed. So it just tells you about the different planners. So this is like the different kinds that they have. So I thought I was going to get the original A6. But I did get... Oh wait. I got the planner. The English planner A6. And it it's only comes on the A6 size. It doesn't come out on the A5 size yet. So. Oh my goodness. And then, oh lord. This is the back of the flyer i really love this one just have a neanderthal year really really cute and then so this is the cover itself so i've never had a cover for hobonichi before well i've had the plastic covers uh, for the weeks but i've never had like a hobonichi planner planner so when I saw this one, I knew I had to get it. I was excited to get it. Sorry for the plastic ASMR. Um, so it comes like this and it comes with stickers. I'm so excited for the stickers. By the way, this cover is already sold out in the Hobonichi website. So when I saw that, when I saw that Little Craft Place had it, I knew I had to go there and get it. I think right now though, it is sold out at their place too. But like I said, oh my god, I'm so excited. So I got like stickers from Animal Crossing. And then it comes with this one right here, which is in Japanese. Um, so there's like a bunch of pockets right here. There's a pen loop. And then it comes with two bookmarks. So this is shape in the leaf from Animal Crossing. So you just sort of like... 
put this one. So, oh my goodness, I can't wait to use this. So this one actually is a January start, but it does um, sort of have, um, I want to say, no, it does start just in January. Huh. I guess it's not like the other planners where they sort of like have a few months before January. Um, so you can see. I've never had like an A6 Hoboing Chew before, so I don't really know what to expect. So this one I'm actually um, planning on using as, um, what do you call this? As a game, <laughs> my Animal Crossing game uh, planner. Um, I don't know, I wanted... I wanted to use it for my Animal Crossing playing thing. Although I have um, sort of played... Oh my goodness, this is so perfect. Look at that. And then, of course, um, I had to get the... Uh, this is called the pencil board. So I got one in in A6 and I also got one in um, A5 so the A5 I'll use for whatever planner I decide for next year either bullet journal or a uh, Hobonichi cousin avec so like um, Hobonichi if you haven't had it before it's kind of like this thin paper but apparently it's good for like um, fountain pens and um, it's good for other pens and stuff like that. I mean, they say that it's thin, but it doesn't really um, leak through or something like that. I've seen people um, sort of like plan with it, so I'm interested on how it works. One of my favorite shop owners, Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co., plans on a um, cousin, I think A5 cousin Avec. So I kind of want to try it out. But like I said, if I do decide to get the A5 for next year, I might have to bypass buying a vertical planner just because it has like a vertical spot in the planner. So if I do that one, um, I might be cutting down on my planners. But if not, then I have this one. I can try and just plan on this one. The thing with it, uh, the... The reason why I didn't want to, um, I wanted to get the EVEC is like it cuts the planner down to two. So like, um, the first half of the year, January to June, and then the rest of it is July to December. So that when you put stickers on it, because this thing will get chunky if you put stickers on it. So, um, that's why I wanted to get the EVEC. But I can't wait to use this for my gaming thing. And then I also, like I said, I got the pencil board for the A5. So, um, I should have shown you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's got the Today header. And then in the back is just a leaf and it has like a little bit of like a ruler back there. Not really sure how that would work. And this is what the planner looks like. I'm just like sort of like not even showing you what the planner looks like. Like I said, I am not. Uh, this is the first time I'm having um, an A6 planner. So I don't know. So this one does have December monthly thing. So it has the December monthly, but the daily start exactly January 1st so you can't really start before that um, I don't know what features to show you guys because like I said I'm not used to this it does have sort of like a, what do you call this it sort of has like a place to put like a, so you can have like a monthly cover page if you want. It does have that option. So that's kind of cool. 
Yeah, like the thing with the bullet journal is like you won't have space for um, your trackers and all that stuff. But I was thinking of like either getting like another day free for that one. Um, so that I can have my trackers and I don't have to kind of like once I switch out the book for the second half of the year, I don't have to redo the trackers because that's the problem with my bullet journal right now. Um, I have the trackers in the beginning of the year, like my book trackers and what I've watched and all that stuff. But like when I had to switch out for the second half of the year, then I didn't have my trackers anymore. So I had to rewrite them and it's kind of like redundant. So I don't know. I'm trying to decide um, what to do on that if you guys have any suggestions on what to do for that so this is the pencil board for the a5 so this is a6 and this is a5 so a5 is what i'm used to that's kind of like the size of my bullet journals and then i got a bunch of covers cover on cover so they call this the cover on cover um so this one is for the weeks um for the hobo weeks, I'm actually not going to buy a new one. So when I bought a Little Craft Place, um, their surprise box last year, I got like uh, 20, 20 weeks. So instead of this going to waste, I'm going to be reusing this for my 2022 planner. So I have like... Um, you can buy like sticker kits that'll cover the date cover so you can just have whatever dates you want same thing for the monthlies so i'm gonna try and do that and i'm gonna cover this up so this one is gonna be all um 2022 so i think this will be a good use for me i'm gonna cover this up so that it doesn't show 2020 it's gonna be um my cover it is cute but it's not really my design it was free from this uh surprise box that's why i don't want to waste it so i'm going to use this for 2020 so i got a cover on cover for that one so once i made a cover i'm going to use this so that it doesn't mess it up and then i got a cover on cover for the a6 planner so let me show you how this thing works this is actually the first time I'm using one of this too. So we're going to learn together. So there, they do have like cover on cover that has, um, what do you call this designs, but I opted for the, uh, the one that doesn't have a design just because, um, what do you call this? Just because I don't want to cover up this really cute, um, this really cute Animal Crossing cover. So that's why I didn't, I opted for the plain cover on cover. Let's see, so now I have my cover protected, so it's not gonna mess up. If I bring this anywhere with me, it's not gonna mess up the covers for it. Oh my goodness, I seriously cannot believe I got the English one. I thought like that I got the Japanese one and I'd have to get the English one because I wanted to try the English one out, but now I don't have to because this wasn't in, in English. And then I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna get the, like I said, the Hobonichi cousin of Vic but if I do I have a cover and cover for that one I don't think this will fit my bullet journals let me see yeah I don't think it'll fit my bullet journals it's a little bit too big so this one is actually really just made for um, the Hobonichi covers so unfortunately, I won't be able to use this. So I might have to get a Hobonichi just so I can use this one. 
But I do like the idea of covering uh, my planners just because, like, look at what happened to this one. So this is the first half of 2021 bullet journal. This guy used to have ice, used to have, it was an emoji. It used to have ice, but since I keep putting this in my bag, um, the ice sort of fell out. I don't know where they went. The ice and the mouth fell out. So unfortunately, it's an eyeless emoji. And I just put this one in just so it kind of doesn't seem as sad. But yeah, so I guess I'm going to have to, I might have to get a Hobonichi uh, Cousin of X so I can use this cover. Or I can save it for later. I'm not sure. And then I just realized that I got this one um, again. So these are, oh, yeah, I forgot. So I got these two die cuts. This is our paper Komoko die cut. So this one is Coco and Li Lily. So it's got st sticker attic. I thought I can add this to my planner. Really, really cute. And then I got this one, which are sticker flakes. I'm not going to open this because I already have one. Um, and I already opened it. But it has like all these stickers right here. So I thought this would be really, really cool. To put in my bullet journal and that is it for this haul so i have one more and then uh the next video you see after that will be all the washi swatched out so i'll see you in the next clip okay so the last haul from little craft place is a bunch of stickers like i said i accidentally bought double of some stuff <laughs> oops this is why I need to kind of like film as soon as I get it. That way I know which ones I already have. But unfortunately I did not do that. I will try to do better. So anyways. So it's not like a big haul. It's just a small haul. Because I needed more stuff to send to my friend. So I got these two Hello Kitties. One is going to a friend of mine. And one is going to me. So these are sort of like. Um, I think it's a decal sticker. It looks like a sticker. It's got like a perforate, um, not perforation, but I don't know. It feels like a card stock though. It feels like it meant to be a postcard. So I thought you can use this one. So I got one because I love Hello Kitty too. And then I got another one of this one. So like I said, I already have this, but I did get the other washi tape though. So I'll open one and swatch it and this one I will swatch it too. But it's the same Ali the Fox. Because I thought this was really, really cute fox. And then I got Lux Cups Creative. And guess what? It's the same Bestie Bears. Because I really love the design. So I accidentally get two of them. Well, I'll open one and save the other. And then I got this one. So this one is the Robot Battle Dance Battle Washi Tape. So this one is the Froggy Kitty Washi Tape. It's a frog and kitty onesies. How cute is that? So I had to get that one. And then I also got this Good Vibes washi stamp. Because I just love the Good Vibes uh, theme. It's a wild child. So this one is from Bobo Design Studio. So I can't wait to swatch this one out. And then I got... She gave, um, Eunice gave me free candy because she's the one to check me out. So she gave me free candy. And then I got this, um, what do you call this? It's the same as the sticker flakes that I have. And I also have the letter set for this one. So this is the post-it notes. So I thought this is really, really cute. So it's got two designs. One is the bookstore and the other one is just like a plain bookshelf thing. So you can write in the back. And this one you can write in this part right here. So I thought this is really, really cute. So I got that one. And then I got these Alley the Fox uh, deco stickers because I thought this is really cute. I, I looked in the designs and I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. So I had to get that one. And then I got two of these, because one of them is going to a friend of mine. 
Um, she loves Winnie the Pooh, so I'm giving this to her. And then one of them is for me because I love Winnie the Pooh too. And then I got this one. This one is actually two sheets. So I'm giving one to another friend and then one for me. So, and that is it for this mini um, little craft place haul video. The next video you're going to see is all of the washi tape that's on this side. All of them swatched out so that you will see what they look like. So I will see you on the next clip. Okay, so as promised, I have the washi tape swatched out for you. So the first thing that I'd show you since I have the swatch book right here was the two paper Kumako washi tapes that I got from Little Craft Place. So this one is the Let's Paint Squad Gray. So it has um, Bobo and Lily. And then this one, I didn't get a chance to find a name for it. Um, I forgot to do that before I filmed this clip. But this is sort of like a vertical washi with um, Bobo and Lily. So you can sort of like see how cute they are. Really, really nice. So I don't know the name of that one. And I don't think they have it on Paper Komoko's website. I have to double check if Little Craft Place has it on their website. Um, but those are the two paper Kumako washi tapes that I got. And then let's check out the Little Craft Place washi tape. Let me see if I can remember. Um, okay, so one of the washi tapes I got was from um, the Little Red House. So I decided to just join it with the other Little Red House washi tape that I got. But I got the bunny ones. So these are the designs that are... designs um, let me see if I can zoom out a bit you're gonna see my messy desk okay so these are the 10 washi designs um, for the washi tape so you got like the little cute little bunnies it says um, forever chill forever bun hello all that cute little bunniness and then I think these are the other washi that I got so the frog kitty washi tape these are all the designs before it starts repeating see it started repeating from here on here so these are the cute little froggies this is the bestie bear so these are the cute little bears um, and then there's the penguin. Really, really cute penguin. I love penguin washi tape. And then these are the deco washi tape that I got. So this one is from BGM. And this is what it looks like. So it's sort of like, um, I don't know what you call this part. So it's got like designs. Um, it's a little bit tricky to put it on paper with the thing. So you might get wrinkles, but it is pretty to use as a border if you're making a card. And then these are the balloon washi tape that I got. And then the doggies on poles. This, this is too funny and too sort of disturbing. Um, but I don't know what kind of washi tape this is because it's in Japanese and I can't understand it. And then um, these are the... Ali the Fox washi tape. So this is one set right here and the other set is right here. So you can kind of see how cute the designs are. And as you've seen on the video, I accidentally bought two of these because I don't pay attention to what I buy. But I really like it. So I don't mind having two because then I can have one to share and one to hoard. Really, really cute. I don't know if you want to look at it closely. And then the last washi tape from this video is this one from Postage Stamp. So this is my first postage stamp, uh, for, well, first washi from this brand. And I really got it because of the good vibes, um, sort of like thing in the covering. Because I love um, the idea of good vibes. So there's positive vibes. You are my sunshine wild child. 
Moon baby, be fearless. Take the road less traveled and wonderful. So that is it. Those are the washi tapes that I got from Little Craft Place. And if you're at this part of the video, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos of this kind, then consider subscribing to my channel. And I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys. If you uh, leave a comment in the section below, on the comment section, if you have any comments. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!